This is Ozir, a very wealthy and influential merchant in the city of Astapor, aspiring to become a political figure in Giscari lands. Ozir has recently grown tired of his competition and has spent a great fortune to acquire 100 unsullied soldiers to help aid him in his conquest of other houses on his way to the top. With the extremely well-trained and disciplined army at his command, nothing could stop him, he thought. But there was one element he hadn't taken into consideration, and that is the Black Spider. A jaded and disgruntled unsullied soldier who was tired of the mistreatment he endured at the hands of his masters. Shortly after being bought, the spider convinced his fellow unsullied to destroy Ozir and the other masters and their metaphorical and often literal chains. They then escaped Astapor and marched west in search of coin, in hopes of being able to afford a home in a faraway land where they can live peacefully. This is their story. But before we get to that, a word from today's sponsor. That's right, you know that music. Raid Shadow Legends. As someone who genuinely plays Raid, it is one of my favorite hero collection games. There's just something about collecting and managing a bunch of badass heroes, throwing them into battle to hone their metal, and equipping them with gear to delve into dangerous dungeons against badass bosses. Raid excels in this aspect with its huge roster of characters. Can you guess how many there are? Here, let's ask Professor Death Knight here about how many champs there are. Hello pupils, it's me, Professor Death Knight, coming to you from Teleria University. <laughs> legally not a real school, with a math problem. If you create a hit mobile game in 2019, how many champions will you have four years later? The answer is over 700. Who's one of the hottest champions in Teleria right now? Well, Ultimate Death Knight, of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 stop. Ultimate Death Knight ain't nothing compared to my boys. This right here is my team. We've got my main man, Kale. He's the bread and butter of my team. Then we got Thanasil. And while reviews say he's not that great at attacking, I think he's amazing. We also got Ultimate Gallic. Look at this guy. Do I even need to say anything? And finally, we have Grunge Killjoy, a walking arsenal of muscle and weapons. Oh, that's cool. With a roster of characters this big, you will definitely find something that appeals to you. And between artifacts, accessories, affinities, and more, there's practically infinite ways to customize your team to be able to take on the badass bosses of Raid. So if you like what you see and want to check out Raid for yourself, let me throw in a free starter pack for you to get all this cool in-game loot. All you have to do is scan the QR code visible on screen or click the link in the description below. Enjoy the game and thank you Raid for supporting the channel. All right, here we are. Astapor, home. At least it was before we fucked everything up. Why is it that most of my uh, series or videos or whatever start with me next to hostile territories? Now, I'm thinking we go over to Pentos because there's a constant war before between Pentos and Bravos, and that's where we're going to make uh, as much money as possible. We'll negotiate a mercenary contract, and for the first time in our lives, we're gonna be fighting on our own terms. I think once we have enough money, we'll buy something around these islands. These islands look pretty cool. I say Sunstone, for example. Yeah, Sunstone is gonna be cool. We're gonna create a home for us and all our unsullied brothers. It's gonna be a peaceful place, no one can touch us. I just realized this is like a perverse uh, version of Vinland Saga. Like, we are trying to, to achieve that uh, amazing peaceful place for ourselves but through a lot of bloodshed <laughs> now the problem with this challenge is that basically our party is non-replenishable -replenish because since we only start with these 100 soldiers including myself and we can't hire any more of them because the only way you can get them i think is in uh, astapor and we are you know they're hostile to us we only have 100 unsullied uh to basically keep us going through this challenge until we can buy the castle. Maybe once we buy the castle, we can look into freeing Astapor and just all of our other brothers. Also, we need some food, so let's head up this village. Seven of us got wounded because uh, we did go uh, hungry. Now, here we go. We have... Okay, the two armies of Pentos and Bravos right here. Pentos has more of a chance to beat Bravos, to be honest. So let's go negotiate a mercenary contract with them. Illyrio Mopatis. Illyrio, do you want access to a hundred insanely disciplined and well-trained well soldiers? It's gonna give you an edge over Bravos. What do you think? 390 gold? Man, we're getting... 
we're getting ripped off here but whatever now every time they have their armies raised i can just cheese this and and just go do whatever i want on my own but we have to provide them with our services so uh, as long as they have an army up i'm just gonna go with them okay there's a fight let's go our first fight all right brothers let's go and earn those paychecks Ooh, look at the drip come here come here come here come here, come here. never have i thought that i would see the unsullied in a banner lord um uh, module oh my god look at this look at this they have a lot more infantry than us are they counting on my infantry to pull everything off i'm not gonna sacrifice my boys i'm gonna play very strategically here again our boys are not replenishable for the pentos nobles all these recruits and soldiers are uh, expendable as all hell all right bros we stand here and we do not let their infantry through Then we are peppering them with uh, with javelins. Get ready, boys. Boom. First kill. Get them, boys. For our castle. Come on. Oof. Get him! Nice! Boom! Good work, my boys! Good work! Nice! Okay, do we lose a lot of men? It looks like it. Damn. We lost... Oof, 10 people already died. Another wave of them is coming. Alright, boys, we stand and meet, meet them here. It's just a bunch of peasants. Get him! Oof! I just got hit so hard. Careful, boys. Oh my god. We got decimated. Okay, retreat, retreat. Okay, the archers put in work. They covered our retreat. Nice. Oh, we lost 16 people. God damn, that's too much. Give me a shield wall, boys. I think it's almost over. They got one archer left. He's gone. He's right there. It's a crossbowman. Uh, come on, come on. And they got him. Oh man, what a fight. Guess how many people our Unsullied killed. Let's check. You know what? No, guess first in the comments. Oh my god. There were what, like 50 of us and we killed 173 on our own. Oh my god. That's a tactician's wet dream. Ooh, we plundered 5,000. And we caught someone. You're my prisoner now. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh my god look at all this look at all this this is probably gear from like the noblemen and uh all the squires and knights that they have in our in their armies very nice very nice our first uh fight after signing with pentos is the is done let's go and liquidate all this uh loot that we have oh my god they don't even have enough money in the entire city to buy even our weapons yikes I have to say though that uh, we are getting all this loot because of a mod that makes drops more realistic so that the items that were involved in the battle actually have chances to drop another 71,000. We're so close. We're so close to getting the, the castle. All right. Uh, it looks like the army is going to go siege. So let's go join them. Yeah, we lost 16 of our boys. We're at 84 right now. What are you standing around for? Get out of here. <laughs> Let's go join the siege. 700 against 367. Let's do it. Oh my god, look at these pentos scum. They're using some of my boys, even though like we're already spread thin as it is. They're using my boys to operate the siege weapons. Follow me, man. Where are you going? Ah, he's using the ballista yikes those boys are gonna be prime targets are they using them over there as well yep they are mm. they're even using them to push the fucking ah these dirty bastards look at this guy shooting you guys you guys hide here one of my boys already died here operating the ballista okay that's not it's not good you know what get off of it give it to me oof Ah, oh, got him. All right, boys, follow me. Get this guy, get this guy. Someone get this guy with the javelin. I mean, they're trying. Stand still and try hard. There you go, right in the eye. <laughs> okay, uh, some, some, oh, the boys who were pushing the battering ram actually made it there. 
Oof. Oh, I hope none of my boys died there. We don't have any deaths in the Unsullied yet, but we do have people like going unconscious. Come with me, Unsullied. Come on. If we control this wall, it's going to be good. Let's kill these guys. Yeah, you, you made so much trouble for my boys. Push. Push. Behind, behind, behind. Let's go upstairs. With me, Unsullied. Come on. They're shooting at me. Shoot them all. Nice. Alright, let's go down. Is there no one else? Where's the rest? Where's the rest? Up there? Alright, let me... Let me go take care of them. Boom. Man, I'm just steamrolling these peasants. But then again, a peasant has no chance against an unsullied. Like, realistically, what chance does a peasant stand? <laughs> oh, buddy. That's right. Our first siege as an independent mercenary group and we crushed it. Now, I am a bit worried of looking at the numbers because we probably lost some boys. I was very careful about it, about uh, the siege, but let's see. We've lost, ah, we've lost five of our brothers, but we took down 60 people. Oh my. Some loot. I'll take it. Standard of Fury. Oh, that's just, that's very convenient for my boys. That's very, very convenient. All right. We do have a situation around here. Are these, is the army gonna? Okay. Well, they're not. Look at this. The moment Ryos flips to Pentos, their army goes immediately to start raiding. <laughs> they're, they're like uh, earlier territories. Okay. Let's escort the army as we were. Oh, they're going to try to siege. Okay. There's a fight. This might be our last fight with uh, Pentos, our contractor. We're one step away from getting our castle. Come on, Unsullied. This is what we've been fighting for. This is what our lives have led to. One more battle and our dream of a peaceful life is going to be assured. Let's go. As usual, we're not expendable. So I'm not going to treat my boys like these nobles are treating those uh, infantrymen over there. We're going to defend the archers. That's that's basically our main job. Because as you saw in like the first battle, as long as our archers don't get uh, destroyed, it's an auto win for us. God damn it. Okay, let's stand here. Give me a shield wall. The shield wall is mainly for cavalry. If their cavalry charges us, we'll just, uh, like, they'll knock out the guy in the, in the front, but uh, they'll be stuck on, like, the second row. Oh my god, one of my boys got knocked out by the cavalry. All right, here they come. Get ready, boys. Come on, Unsullied. Think of the castle. Oof. Oh, they got a lot of cavalry. Oh, they got a lot of cavalry this time. We're kind of... Uh, our line is kind of broken. Pull back a little bit. Just so we can like gather our thoughts. Get that guy. Oof. I just got slashed. I'm seeing a lot of my brothers fall. Oof. Oh, that was so close. The cavalry are making this very complicated. No, you don't. Oof. Man, Black Spider is fighting like a demon. Fall back a bit. Archers, what are you doing? Fall back, fall back, fall back. Got him. Keep falling back a bit. 
Yikes. Yikes. I got him. All right, they seem to be retreating as well. Don't, why are they chasing so zealously? Don't overcommit, what are you doing? Okay, that's, that's good, this is good. Let's defend the archers. Oh, they're getting reinforcements. Yeah, they're advancing. We should wait for the uh, reinforcements as well, to be honest. Yeah, here they come, here they come. Come on, boys. One last stand. One last stand on Salid with me, come on! There's too many. Follow me, follow me. Try and pull back, try and pull back. Oh, here come our reinforcements. Come on, boys, run! Run! <laughs> they must be fatigued from all the fighting, those like original five guys that were with us right there. Here comes their infantry. Here we go. Stop chasing my boys. Die, you fucking peasants. Got him. Boom! Jump kill! I think their morale is breaking. Hey! Let's go! Let's go! My god! What a fight that was! <laughs> what a fight that was! Ah, 11 Unsullied have been killed. 30 have been injured. We have taken down 86 people! Oh my god! Oh my god, look at that lance. I'm taking it. That's a war memorial right there. <laughs> what? A mount? Worth 28,000? And now, let's uh, ransom everyone. Boom. Sell some of this shit. Our service it's is over. It has been a while. Oh my god, yeah. We're talking to him straight like after the fight and he apparently got knocked out. Um, I wish to be released from my oath to you. All right, it was an honor to serve you. Okay, let's make our way to these islands. We want to buy it, so we'll try and go over there. Let's see how many of my brothers actually made it through. We'll sell stuff along the way to liquidate everything. All right, we've liquidated pretty much all of our loot. Uh, we still have a little bit, but we have almost 700k. We could have, fuck it, saved up enough to buy a city. Look at this amazing place, by the way. Look at this nice little castle. Forgive me what may seem to be an abundance of caution, but please keep your distance. Yeah, you're good, Just you're good. beyond sword length is fine. I'm the black spider. Very well. What do you propose? Okay, he just changed the voices, but okay. All right, here we go. Sunstone. First of all, how much does this cost? Oh my god, all my money and all my treasures. And that's like what? 10%? Yikes. So it's worth like 7 million, 8 million. Woo. Woo. I, uh, Sunstone is fine. Thank you very much. Glad to be doing business with you. New owner of Sunstone is Black Spider. Let's go check out our new home. This is the Black Spider's face, by the way, if you haven't seen him yet. What a chad. Yeah, just a standard castle. This makes a lovely home for our retired soldiers. Yeah, look at this. The souls of those uh, 32 brothers that have not made it with us will be laid to rest in tombs around the castle. And we have 130,000 left that we can do anything we want with. Now, what do you guys think? Should the rebel Ansali just uh, spend the rest of their days peacefully in Sunstone? Or should they pursue freeing even more Ansali? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's all the time we have for today for uh, the Black Spider and his Ansali friend's story. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love. Bye-bye.